Hello guys, welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. Today we will be going to discuss about best Linux distribution for the old laptop. Do you have an old laptop that has gathered layers of dust over time and you don't exactly know what to do with it? So, don't worry if you are using an old laptop with low system resources in it which had once a good hardware configuration but now potentially outdated. A good place to start would be to install a Linux distribution that will perfectly support its low and hardware specifications without much of a hassle. Many lightweight Linux distributions let you enjoy a lag-free computing experience on your old computer and give you a visually appealing graphical desktop. Apart from being lightweight, these operating systems are small, fast, secure and feature-rich. So, Today we will be going to discuss some of the best Linux distributions that you can install on your old PC and breathe some life into it. The first distro I want to talk about is Puppy Linux. One of the all-time favorite lightweight Linux distributions, Puppy Linux is a Unix-like operating system primarily meant for netbooks, older systems and live CD. We can run it directly from a USB drive on computers that do not have a hard drive. The size of Puppy Linux is somewhere around just 300 megabytes that makes it one of the smallest Linux distributions. So dump all your worries about less storage space on your old PC in a corner and try the lightweight Puppy Linux. It will amaze you as it works without unnecessary slowdowns and it requires a Pentium 3 or higher processor and just 256 megabyte of RAM to provide you maximum result. You can also use hard drive but it is optional as it can run quite well on any USB drive. The next distribution that we will discuss is Body Linux. Body Linux is quite known for its minimal approach and the support for low-end hardware. It is a lightweight distribution whose philosophy is to provide a minimal base system that gives users the freedom and flexibility they need to install their preferred software packages. It is based on Ubuntu and comes with the Moksha Windows Manager. Body Linux comes in four different editions including Standard, Legacy, App Pack and HWE. While most users will opt for the standard or legacy edition for a 32-bit hardware, while those looking for a 64-bit operating system with updated kernels and new hardware support should opt for the HWE edition. If we talk about the system requirement, then the processor you need is of 500 MHz for a 32-bit hardware and 1 GHz for a 64-bit system. RAM is 512 megabytes while storage you need is of 5 gigabytes. Let's talk about another best distribution that is Lubuntu. Any list of lightweight Linux distributions for netbooks and older PCs is incomplete without Lubuntu which is an official Ubuntu flavor. Due to this, it enjoys the same software and repositories as Ubuntu. Ubuntu is for folks who want to experience Ubuntu on a bare bones system. It comes with an essential suite of apps like Office and Multimedia apps. It gives you a complete desktop experience on low-end computers and laptops. The user interface is simple and clean making it ideal for new users and Windows users. If we talk about the system requirements to use this distribution, then the most recent release of Ubuntu has now lowered the minimum required RAM to run the operating system to 500 megabytes. However, to ensure smooth running, try to use a machine with at least one gigabyte of RAM. It is available in 32 as well as in 64-bit systems. The next distro in my list of best Linux distribution for old PC is Peppermint. Peppermint is a fast and stable Linux desktop operating system with a focus on cloud and web application management. The lightweight Linux distribution is based on Ubuntu and it uses the LXDE desktop experience to give you a neat and smooth experience. Peppermint operating system is a lightweight Linux distribution well known for its stable and super fast nature. It is a highly customizable distribution as it is built on a long-term support code base. The user interface 
interface is clean and modern which makes it easier to get used to for newbies. Technically, Peppermint requires 1GB of RAM and any processor based on Intel x86 architecture to run on a computer. It needs at least 4 gigabytes of available disk space to install on a computer. The next very useful and user-friendly distribution for old computer is Linux Lite. You can get an idea from its name that it is a lightweight version of Linux and requires a low specification computer to work on. What makes it unique is its user-friendly and flawless interface to make your old computer look young. This operating system has been growing at a rapid pace in the recent past. Since it is based on Ubuntu, you can enjoy installing software packages from the package-rich and diverse Ubuntu repository. Linux Lite is ideal for newbies transitioning from Windows to Linux as it gives them just what they need to get started. Software applications that are already available in Linux Lite include GIMP, VLC Media Player, Firefox Browser, and Thunderbird Email Client. Minimum system requirements include a 1 GHz processor, 768 MB of RAM, 8 GB of free storage space, and a VGA resolution screen that makes it a relatively demanding option than some of the other distributions. Now let's talk about another distribution that is LXLE. LXLE is a lightweight version of Linux based on the Ubuntu LTS long-term support release. Like Ubuntu, LXLE uses the bare-bones LXDE desktop environment. But, as LTS releases are supported for 5 years, it emphasizes stability and long-term hardware support. It ships with pre-installed applications such as web browser, GIMP, and OpenShoot to mention a few. Aimed primarily at reviving older machines, the distro is designed to serve as a ready-to-use desktop out of the box specifically tailored to appeal to existing Windows users. Like Ubuntu, LXLE is available as a live image for 32-bit and 64-bit machines. The hardware requirements are 512 MB of system RAM at a minimum with 1 GB recommended. Another best distro is CrunchBank++. CrunchBank was a Linux distribution. The distribution was designed to run on a few system resources Later, to continue its development, some Linux distributions work upon it and the most significant distributions are Bunsen Labs and CrunchBank++. CrunchBank++ is upgraded with Debian and has new features. The latest release of CrunchBank++ comes with the Debian 8 and Debian 9, where Debian 8 takes space of 600 to 700 megabytes and Debian 9 takes space of 1.1 gigabytes. The distribution comes with many features and this operating system is best for your old desktop consuming very little RAM and disk space it provides many features and a classic look and feel to your old desktop and gives it life. The last distribution that I want to share with you is Tiny Core Linux. Tiny Core Linux is just the core system on which users can add what they want to customize to their operating system experience. The developers offer three different x86 cores including Core, Tiny Core and Core Plus. Tiny Core is a 16 megabyte Linux desktop. Yes, you have heard it right. Just 16 megabyte. If I'm not wrong, it is probably the smallest and most lightweight distribution there is at the time of recording this tutorial. Tiny Core saves on size by requiring a wide network connection during the initial setup. The recommended amount of RAM is just 128 megabytes. There are 32 bit and 64 bit versions as well as Pi Core, which is a build for ARM devices like Raspberry Pi. So, guys, this is all for today. Choosing the best Linux distribution for your old PC seems a challenge, but checking reviews give you a deeper understanding of which distribution is good for your old PC according to your requirements. Which among the distros we have discussed you think is best? Do you need any help choosing the right one for you? Tell us what you think or reach out to us in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel.